This place is pretty cool. It's a reduced scale wind tunnel. My name's Nina Tretosa, and I'm the senior engineer here at the General Motors reduced scale wind tunnel, and I'm in charge of the wind tunnel and the rolling road systems. The advantage to scaling down models for testing is that it makes the whole development process so much more efficient because we are sculpting smaller pieces and it goes a lot faster. The 40% models that we have here have full suspension and a very detailed underbody. And this wind tunnel also has a rolling road system, which means that the road moves underneath the vehicle. It allows the wheels to spin. And why that's important is because now we can match the road to the wind speed. It helps better simulate the flow that's going underneath the vehicle. It's a better representation of what's actually going on. The reduced scale models, even though they have a much more detailed underbody, will still have the clay exterior, and so we will still be able to do a lot of the on-the-spot clay changes that we did. That's why the wind tunnel is still such a valuable tool for us, because you can get a lot more throughput in the wind tunnel. I can make 15 changes in one shift and get 15 data points, and it might take the CFD or the computational fluid dynamics approach a lot longer because each iteration will take several hours to come to uh, convergence. The majority of our development is in reduced scale. And so one of the driving factors in building this facility is that efficiency. By building a reduced scale wind tunnel, we can now run a smaller fan because we have a smaller test section because we're running a smaller size model. What we've been focusing on is how do we increase the aerodynamic efficiency of, of our, our entire fleet, everything from the small cars to the big trucks. This facility will increase our capacity significantly to develop the aerodynamics of our future products. Yeah.